Hey, let's say you're a small band trying to promote yourself, right? You put posters outside the venue and things. Now, this is a pretty blah poster in many ways, or is it? Let's scan the QR code and see what happens. Okay, scan the QR code. What it's doing right now is it's opening up WorldCast, our web AR portal, and it's telling me all I have to do is look at. So there's nothing to install. All I have to do is just aim at the print, and it will come to life with the content. So there's music playing. I don't know if it's coming through in the, in the audio right now, but there is music playing of me uh, playing my guitar in a song I've written. And what I've got is I've, I've, I've timed it to have a little message come in after 15 seconds that allows you to touch her and order the tickets. So this wasn't programmed. This is just another image that can be put on top of a video that you can actually have time, time to come in whenever you want. Another little thing I want to illustrate is how I've made a little holographic effect on this. As you can see, it's kind of like a parallax, right? I can look into the, into the print and have this kind of hologram effect happening. So let's get into how I did this. Okay, so here's how I did this in WorldCast. So basically, you don't have to be a designer, a graphic designer. You don't have to be a video editor. You don't have to be a programmer to do any of this. But I just showed, what I just showed you, you can do this in minutes yourself. So we have the power of Canva built directly in. So here I created this in Canva, but you don't have to go to uh, Canva directly. You can go right to WorldCast. Once you start creating something in PrintCast, you're offered the option to design in Canva or set the file of your own on your desktop. In this case, I could go Flyer, and I could pick from their thousands, millions of templates. But in this case, I'm going to go to Projects, and I can just select the one I've already made, and I can still edit it here, and then I would just go to Export to PrintCast, and that's when it would come into PrintCast and get the rating and stuff. I've already done that, so I just go to WorldCast Studio. So these are the elements I've placed on top. So what you see is what you get system. So this video right here, that's a video I also made in Canva. So all I did was put a green, a green circle, which when I brought it into WorldCast, I said filter green screen, which gave me this transparent knockout. For the video background, all I did was drag and drop an MP4 into Canva, and I just export this as a video, and I imported the video into Canva. So you can have multiple videos right inside uh, PrintCast Studio. So in this case, I'm just gonna move this further off to the side. Here's the border I placed around it, so I'm just gonna move that off to the side. Here's the PNG that I had set to fade in at 15 seconds with a five second duration. What that did was at 15 seconds, it decided, it started, it, it knew it had to come in and it took five second, seconds to transition to that slow fade, just to make it look not as jarring. So a little, you know, it's always about the eye candy in many ways. Then I was assigned the link to it. So if I was to touch that link on the, on the print, if I touch it right now, it will go through to the link that I assigned it. In this case, I assigned it to globalworldcast.io. So that's how easy that is to do. All you have to do is just, uh, you can put your link and your fade in duration, and, and that's all you have to do for that. In this case, I also put the video down below everything. So by going to uh, cast properties, we have the ability to go if behind image, and that will get rid of the tracking image. If I was to go to if not behind image default, we'll see that there's now the original image there, and it wouldn't look as good as what I, I had wanted it. So if I go to if behind image and update that, we now can push it down below the actual print. And that's how we get that cool parallax effect once we put it all together. These are buttons I just placed that, that can equally go to other destinations that you want to. And this is a 3D text, which I, I've, uh, I've uh, made a name for myself, Polyjammers, because I play so many different styles of music, right? So I can just go undo, I'll just undo and go back to the very uh, uh, semi-manually replacing them all by hand. So let's put this all back where it was. Once I hit save, I was just able to pick the package I want. Uh, you can pick free, or you can pick the $10 upgrade, which gets rid of the watermark. It gives you more analytics for where, when, and how long the item was engaged for. That's as simple as it is. If you don't have any programming knowledge, instead of trying to make your video do something that doesn't do. So this is illustrating that you can have a special, you can have custom shapes around the video, so it doesn't have to be rectangular. That could have been a star, that could have been whatever shape I wanted it, right? As long as it was knocked out with a green screen, or you can just do, didn't have to be video, it could have been a static PNG with a shape around it, and then the video was pushed in behind that in the, in the layers. Uh, so you don't have to know any, you can use Canva, so you don't have to be a designer. You're, there's no code to do for this at all. There's no app to download for the for the viewer to, to, to look at. There's no software installed for the creator to create. It's all browser-based for the desktop to create in the studios, WorldCast, uh, for PrintCast, 
Showcast and Geocast, and then the portal, nobody has to install anything or give sign in for anything. So I hope that shows you a way that you can do some really cool things uh, without having to put a lot of thought into it or a lot of work in many ways. And I can't wait to see what you create.